Hey guys, it's that time again, the January transfer window has rolled around and we've got quite a bit of news to talk about. Most of it's not good, but when it comes to United and transfer windows, particularly in January, it kind of never is. We've obviously seen United do a lot of business over the last couple of January transfer windows, but it's been a lot of United scrambling around to try and salvage a season. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same right now. With Sir Jim and his team coming in, we obviously get the talks about the financial fair play restrictions, but... I think it's mostly due to the fact that they are coming in and they want to assess the club first rather than um, splash the cash right now. So that's the reason why United are probably not going to do many, if any, permanent deals right now. But there's still plenty to talk about, so let's get into it. But the first one I'm going to talk about is Jaden Sancho now. And it does look as if everything is going towards him going back to Borussia Dortmund on that loan deal. Essentially, just a short loan, and he's probably going to end up back there next summer as well. United are going to try and negotiate some sort of fee. But it's to Romano, and we got Falk as well, reporting the same thing. It does look as if that, done, uh, that deal is done. With United now, it's a failed sign-in. That's all you can call it. You, you don't know who to believe. Obviously, with Sancho, all the reports came out saying he's a bad trainer. He doesn't turn up on time. But that was after, obviously, he had the disagreement with Ten Hag. So... You don't quite kind of know. It, it all seemed a bit convenient. It's funny now how Dortmund are willing to take him back so quickly. With United, it sums up our transfer business. Sign him for 80 odd million or whatever it was. And now we're scrambling around to try and send him out on loan. Try and just do anything with him. And United obviously getting that 3 million loan fee. The same loan fee amount that United paid for their goals back in the day. It shows how bad United have fumbled this one. Not just them, it's the, you can't pin it all on the bad United dealings. Obviously, Sancho has a massive part to play in it as well. But it all just sums up the absolute mess the United are in right now. I just don't, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on here. It's and then secondly, before I start to talk about potential incomings, it's worth noting that with Sir Jim and his team coming in, as I've already mentioned, play, there's so many links to different players. They're saying, oh, they, we're going to go after Olise. We're going to go after, obviously, Javi Gray of, of Valencia as well. And you've got to take those links with a pinch of salt because Sir Jim and his team right now, they're coming in. I very much doubt they're talking about potential transfer targets. They're looking at Ten Hag and this team right now, essentially assessing whether Ten Hag is the man for the job and assessing the amount of work they've got to do as a club. So I very much doubt they're signing off on any real big um, tra January transfer dealings because of that, especially permanent ones anyway. And then that leads me on to then, obviously, the links to United for a potential striker. And this does look one that is, is a potential for United to do. Similar to their goals, just trying to get someone in there, essentially, to fill the numbers. Hoyland has played so many minutes. It doesn't look as if Ten Hag wants to risk him week in, week out due to his age. You can't trust Martial with his legs. So you're looking to bring someone else in just as an option. And it does look as if it's either Werner or Chupa Morting at the minute. The links to, obviously, the Stuttgart striker, Garassi, it doesn't seem as if United are going to want to do any potential uh, permanent deal, and, and that was what Stuttgart were after. It didn't seem as if United were really interested in him. But with Werner and Chupa Morton, we're going to have to just wait and see. United, obviously, have made contact. You can see it, United scrambling around yet again. We've seen it with Vergos, seen it with Sabitzer. United trying to just essentially fill some numbers for now until the rest of the season. It's not going to set the world alight. We're not going to be particularly happy about it, but there are going to be numbers in there and options as a striker. Whoever's going to be a United striker at the minute, I don't care who it is. It can be Harry Kane. It's going to be a graveyard shift no matter what you're doing right now. Damn straight. And next up now, there's some talks around in the contract negotiations at United. And we know obviously Lindelof and wan have already signed those extensions. They've activated for Hannibal as well. It looks as if he's going to go out on loan during the January transfer window. Still getting some conflicted reports, but it does seem as if he is headed out on loan. Given the amount of minutes that Tenla has given him, that kind of makes sense. And then, obviously, it's the big decision. Do you stay, stick with Varane? Do you stick with Martial? Varane, under reduced wages, you can see United doing that deal. Obviously, his injury record is going to be an issue. With Martial, United should not be doing any sort of deal with him. He shouldn't have got the last contract extension. Never mind another one. With both Varane and Martial, I wouldn't mind United walking away. I wasn't that first on extending Lindelof and wan -Bissaka, but you can at least see them sort of keeping a little bit of the price tag on them. But with Varane, obviously, due to the injury issues, he could still have some suitors for him. So I wouldn't particularly mind doing that one. 
for Martial, absolutely stay well clear. The guy should have never got a contact um, extension in the first place. So United to do it again would be absolutely farcical. A good player on his day, but when was the last time we seen his day? And then lastly, obviously, we had the news that Regulon was going to go back to Tottenham. And fair play to him. Whenever he put on a United shirt, he'd give it his best. It, the, the loan deal in the first place was an absolute farce of a situation again. United is sums us up. We had sent Alvaro Fernandez out on loan and then brought in Regulon on loan just to send him back to Tottenham in January anyway. Hopefully now Luke Shaw and Malasia can stay fit. If we're going to bring Fernandez back, then give him some minutes. But Regulon, cheers lad, but off you go back to Tottenham. Do, do, you know, uh, do you know Tottenham? What? So that's it for now, guys. Make sure you stay in tune to West Red TV for all the latest surrounding United in the January transfer window. Try and sum it up for you guys the best that I can and try and make sense of the absolute nonsense you see out there. But make sure you subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,